Okay, so we've got a call back to an electrical fault. It's tripping the electrics for this area. And we're actually turning some of the sockets off there. As you can see, my socket and seat plugged in there. But those two sockets and this fuse spur for the boiler, I believe, is on the same circuit. The sockets are fine. As soon as we turn the fuse spur on for the boiler, it just turns everything off. It just creates a short circuit. Uh, I had a look at this motorized valve and it seems to be leaking badly. Yep, branded. You can see it's full of water inside. And I believe that's what's causing it. We'll change the valve and hopefully it'll be all fine. Okay, so the new valve's in, and it's all connected up, a bit of truth. Yep. Job done. Okay, our job's complete for the day. Everything's back to normal. Just noticed a couple of things, and I thought I'll just share it with you guys as well. Firstly, I like that there is a test point on there. Although I think these, do these come with the test point? No, it doesn't. So they've put an external test point on there. Obviously, there will be a test point on the gas valve inside the boiler. But also, what somebody's done in their wisdom is that this PRV and TRV, the D2 for augmented cylinder, what they've done is they've reduced it down to 15 mil. You must have thought that somebody's just done this for no reason that they made it bigger than the top. But they've reduced it back down to 15 and taken it out. And also the condensate pipe in the back has no support, nothing. And it's kind of our fall back towards our elbow and it's just going out. Yeah, if you've spotted any other faults, do point out.